Breaking news, Timu is killing Amazon. Sort of. In just two years, Timu has become a major rival to Amazon. Amazon customers have started flocking to Timu since they started in September of 2022. And it's become the most downloaded e-commerce app, leaving Amazon in the dust. That's right, in less than one year, Timu has over 130 million downloads. So that means that if you are an Amazon seller, you may be losing some of your customers to Timu every single day. And if you don't know, Timu is a shopping app where you can buy products at dirt cheap prices. And customers looking to save money love it, especially when you compare Timu prices to Amazon. For instance, this knife block on Amazon is $166, but this exact same product on the Timu app is only $18. So if you're an Amazon seller or you're thinking about selling on Amazon, you need to pay attention. And we're gonna talk about how did Timu get so big so fast and where does that leave you and me as Amazon sellers? And the question is, is it even possible to build a passive income business with Amazon FBA anymore? Or is this way of selling online dead? For 30 years, Amazon has been the go-to e-commerce platform. In 2023, Amazon hit over 160 million prime customers. And that sounds amazing, but in just two years, Timu already has 104 million active users on its website. And Timu is not showing any signs of slowing down. In 2024, Timu is projected to do over $60 billion in sales and its customer base is growing every single day. Now keep in mind, last year, Amazon did over $600 billion in sales, so Timu still has a lot of room to catch up. But the question is, can Amazon survive this Timu apocalypse? And before I go any further, make sure to smash the like button because I'm gonna go over all the hidden details about Timu, all the different pitfalls you need to know. We're also gonna talk about the pros and the cons of selling on Timu versus selling on Amazon FBA. And ultimately we're gonna answer the question, has Timu killed Amazon? Has Timu killed this opportunity that is Amazon FBA? And the number of customers leaving Amazon for Timu could ruin this passive income Amazon FBA business model. But I am gonna share later in this video some secrets that you can use to keep making money with Amazon FBA because I'll be honest with you, if you are selling certain products on Amazon, that's dead. Timu has killed that. And we're gonna be talking about what products you can continue to sell on Amazon to make money and which products are now dead because Timu has removed that opportunity. Timu completely disrupted Amazon's business model because what they do is they ship from their low cost manufacturing partners in China directly to the consumer in the United States. So there's no middleman. Now, one of the big downsides with Timu, if you buy something off Timu, it's gonna take a few weeks for it to arrive from China to your door. On the other hand, if you buy things from Amazon, it can arrive in as little as two days. But the truth is, most customers don't really care, especially when the choice is between buying, let's say these canisters from Amazon for $43.97 versus this same product is being sold on Timu for only $10.48. So to save $30, a lot of people are willing to wait a few extra weeks. And that is, Timu's massive competitive edge. They're simply selling products cheaper than anywhere else is. But the question you might be wondering is, how do they build their business in such a short amount of time? Sure, on their website, Timu says that they launched in Boston, Massachusetts. It sounds like it's a nice American company that's just supporting America, right? Well, the secret is the Timu business isn't really brand new. They're actually a subsidiary of a company called Pinodo, which is a major Chinese e-commerce company. And Pinodo was founded in 2015 using the same exact model that Timu is currently using. Crazy low prices for products that are shipped directly from a manufacturer to the company. But Pinodo struggled. It had its doubters. People didn't believe it was possible. I mean, to be honest with you, I still barely think that this model should work, but it does. But Pindodo managed to have huge success in the Chinese market. And today the company is worth over $195 billion. And with the money that they had, Pindodo launched an advertising attack on the US market with this brand new company, Timu. And now that it's infiltrated the US customer base and dug its claws into e-commerce, I have to say as an Amazon FBA seller, I, I hate this, 
but I don't think Timu is really going anywhere. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis. I've been an Amazon seller for over eight years. I used to have a nine to five job. I quit that to start my first passive income business. And I've since launched a bunch of other businesses. And I'm proud to say that I am a seven figure Amazon FBA seller. And for me, the easiest way to make money online and what I always teach people to do is to sell on Amazon, to use the Amazon FBA model. I've had over a thousand people that I've taught this model to. And if you don't know how Amazon FBA works, it's where you can sell products on Amazon's website. You buy products in bulk at a discounted price. You then list those products on Amazon for an increased price and you ship those products into the Amazon warehouse. And anytime someone goes to Amazon's website and buys your product, Amazon will pick, pack, and ship the products from their warehouse to your customer. It's the easiest way on earth to build your own passive income business. And to be honest with you, I still think that's true. Despite what Timu has done, I still think that Amazon FBA is the best way to build a passive income business. Now it is becoming harder and harder every year to build your business on Amazon. And now that Timu is sucking up a lot of Amazon's customers, this may even get more difficult if you're selling junk products. Because at the end of the day, Timu is mostly selling junk. It's selling cheap stuff without a brand. And I never recommended selling those type of products on Amazon. Now keep in mind the way that Amazon makes money from us third party sellers, that people like you and me selling our products on Amazon is they charge us fees. There's a 15% selling fee, meaning for anything that you sell on Amazon, Amazon will take 15% of that fee. Now there are ways around this. If you use the brand referral program and you actually have a brand, you can get that down to 5%. And on top of this, Amazon charges things like pick and pack fees, storage fees, and some other random fees. But ultimately, I think it's worth the money to pay Amazon these fees because things like the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee, it's actually cheaper to use Amazon to ship your products for you than it would be for you to ship your products yourself. But Amazon is constantly tacking on new fees. Right now in 2024, we're even being penalized for having inventory levels that are too low. They also ding you if you keep your inventory in their warehouse for too long, if you have too much inventory. So Amazon's really putting a lot of pressure on third party sellers and they're making more money off of us. And the good thing about this is if you're paying attention, these fees won't really affect you and they will affect your competitors, which will make selling on Amazon a little bit more difficult, but it's going to reward the people that are doing it right. Timu is selling unbranded products for pennies on the dollar. And these identical products are being sold on Amazon for a much higher price. And everybody is starting to notice all because Timu is using every loophole they can to keep their prices low. Timu has a huge tax advantage over Amazon FBA sellers when it comes to importing, meaning that all their cheap Chinese manufacturing partners are able to dodge expensive tariffs, import taxes, and custom duties. The reason that Timu's manufacturers are able to avoid a lot of these fees is because they're shipping individual items into the US. Whereas Amazon sellers, people like you and me, are importing crates and containers of our products from probably, to be honest, the exact same manufacturers. But what happens when you import a big number of units is that you have to pay custom duties, tariffs, fees, and things like that. However, if you're only sending in one item, you don't have to pay any kind of customs fees. And this means as an Amazon seller, you and me, we're never gonna be able to sell products cheaper than Timu. Bottom line is Timu is always going to be the cheaper platform and there's nothing you and me can do about it. Now in the future, there may be new regulations that come out that make it so that any product purchased through Timu is going to have to pay those same import fees and duties. In fact, I'm willing to bet eventually this will be the case. But for now, if you're an Amazon seller, don't think that you're gonna be able to compete on price. Timu's always gonna be cheaper. Another reason why Timu has had so much success is when Timu has you on the app, they don't want you to leave. They do a really good job in keeping customers on the app. In fact, Timu outworks Amazon with getting you to do advertising for them. How do they do this? by gamifying the entire shopping experience. The second you open up the Timu app, Timu starts bombarding you with dopamine hits. They instantly offer prizes to every single shopper. You're encouraged to spin the prize wheel for massive discounts. Who wouldn't wanna save 50% on a product? And by getting you and its customers to spin the wheel, it's getting your dopamine to fire. It's getting customers addicted to the app and addicted to shopping. And it's not just the prize wheel. 
Timu takes customer engagement one massive step further. Timu encourages shoppers to play games on the app to win coins to trade for even more discount coupons. The app is fun, it's engaging, and you're always going to be a winner on the app. So sure, customers will spend more and more time on the app and more and more money. If that's not enough, Timu also has a huge bonus that Amazon just doesn't have. And that is on the Timu app, it's a social experience. If you team up with some friends, you can get group discounts. You can even get discounts by sharing referral codes on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. This leaves Amazon in the dust. So you might be wondering, where does Amazon stand in this e-commerce battle? They must be feeling the pressure. Well, it's not all bad. 50% of customers still start their search for products that they wanna buy on Amazon. Because after being in business for 30 years, Amazon has earned customer loyalty and they have over 310 million prime customers worldwide that trust the reliable fast shipping. And compared to Timu, Amazon still has a much wider selection of products. And that's because there's over a million Amazon FBA sellers just in the United States selling unique, interesting products. And the products that are being sold on Amazon are more premium. They actually have strong brands. There is something that Timu will never be able to compete at with Amazon, and that is consumable products, things like fresh groceries, delicious snacks, and basically any type of food. I recently launched a supplement called Carnivore Electrolytes, and this is the type of product that you wouldn't wanna buy on Timu because it has a brand, it's a premium product, it's consumable, and do you really wanna buy consumable things from Timu at a cheap price? Probably not, most people still don't trust Chinese manufacturer to be making things that they're gonna be putting inside their body. And so even though Timu is starting to disrupt Amazon, keep in mind in 2023, Timu only had $6 billion in revenue, where Amazon did $570 billion in revenue. A big part of Amazon's success is because it has brand recognition. It has our loyalty. Most people have purchased something from Amazon. We know if there's an issue, we can return it. We know if there's any problems that Amazon will give us our money back. And we know that when we go to buy something, we can get it overnight shipping or in two days shipping. And even though Timu is spending a lot of money on advertising right now, last year, Amazon spent over $20 billion advertising their website and their services. Now, Timu is spending a lot of money on advertising. In fact, they spent $21 million on just one Super Bowl ad last year. And that's when a lot of people started learning about what Timu is. And even though it seems like the Timu growth is unstoppable, keep in mind, Timu still has plenty of its own challenges. Timu has been having trouble with scammers that are creating imitation sites and these sites will infringe on Timu's trademarks. And these websites would create fake coupons that would install malware on customers' devices, which tarnished Timu's reputation and made it so that customers lost a lot of trust in their company. Timu is also facing a legal battle with one of its biggest rivals, Shen, because Shen alleges that Timu sellers have been stealing images from their website and using them to sell products on Timu. On top of that, Timu has also been accused of paying influencers to comment negatively about Shan. With all this attention and the fact that TikTok has been facing a potential ban in the United States, Timu might be the next app that's on the chopping block. Both TikTok and now Timu have perceived connections to the Chinese government because keep in mind, in China, all businesses are owned 50% by the Chinese government. And the United States government doesn't want you using apps and downloading things where you might be giving your data away to the Chinese government. And when you sign up for and use Timu, they have access to a lot of information about you. Your name, phone number, email, and credit card details, not to mention all your purchase history. And if you used your social media account to log into Timu, they've also got your profile photo and everything you've ever shared on your profiles, plus your IP address and location. But even with all this Timu drama, the icing on the controversy cake is Timu still can't get accreditation with the Better Business Bureau and has a C plus rating. The average customer review for Timu is just 2.5 out of five stars. And because customers have repeatedly received broken or damaged products, there are more than 1600 complaints from just the last 12 months that have been lodged against Timu. So this brings us to the question, has Timu officially killed Amazon and Amazon FBA sellers like you and me? Is this opportunity to sell on Amazon now dead? And the answer is a little bit complicated because the truth is 
in the past, you could sell junk items on Amazon and make a ton of money, even as an American third party seller. That opportunity is dead. But to be honest, that opportunity has been dead for a while. On this channel for the last few years, I've been telling you do not just private label junk products from Alibaba.com. And the people that are still doing that, yeah, you're, you're done. Timu has officially killed your business because people that are buying those junk products on Amazon, all they care about is price. They're just gonna go with wherever the lowest price is. And now Timu has a price that's so low that you just can't compete. So what do you do instead? Well, I've been sharing with you exactly what you need to do to still have success with Amazon FBA throughout this entire video. You need to create a premium product with a brand and you don't wanna to try to compete on price. You wanna to sell to people that are willing to pay more money for higher quality because Timu is not about quality. It's always gonna position itself as the cheapest product. On top of that, if you can create some kind of social media or a following, your business is gonna have a ton of success. I always recommend, if you're gonna be selling on Amazon, to create what I call a passion product. And right now, I'm actually gonna give you a free eight hour Amazon FBA course. It's completely free. All you have to do is click right here. And this is gonna show you step-by-step -step a way to sell on Amazon in 2024 that still works. That despite Timu, this way of selling on Amazon still works. So click on that video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.